Kegels are muscle strengthening exercises, just like exercising in the gym. If you overdo your Kegels, you can make some pelvic floor problems much worse. Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to know if you overdo your Kegels and what to do for emergency management. Then I'm also going to go through how to know or what to do to get back on track with your Kegels after everything settles down. Now, there's two main reasons that overworking your Kegels can happen. The first one is doing too many exercises. So, when Arnold Kegel first recommended Kegel exercises for women, he suggested up to 200 exercises a day. Now, we know that if you're doing a lot of exercises, too many exercises, for example, if I'm in the gym doing 200 of these a day, it's going to make it really hard later in the day for those muscles to work. And that's the same with overtraining the pelvic floor muscles. So we need to do the right quantity of exercises and I'm going to be going through that with you later in this video. The second problem that can occur is over bracing or holding the pelvic floor muscles too tightly all the time. So some of us, when we go to yoga, or go to the gym, or just constantly over brace those muscles and hold them all the time. And unfortunately that can cause the muscles to become too tight and painful and then they become weak and they don't move well. So what are some of the symptoms that can occur? There's a range of things that might occur. That can, this can vary from having pain, pelvic pain, lower abdominal pain, even lower back pain or pain in your tailbone and coccyx. So there's some pain symptoms that can occur. But other things can happen too. Your bladder control might get a little bit worse. Your prolapse symptoms might get a little bit worse, or you might find that you're really constipated as well. So there's a variety of symptoms that can help you know if you're overdoing your Kegels. Now, what do you do if you're overdoing your Kegels? Well, the first thing is to stop them straight away. That's your, your first thing that you must do. Now, I'm going to take you through some positioning for emergency management, and then we'll talk about how to get back into doing your Kegels correctly once your pain or your symptoms settle down. So I'm going to demonstrate what you can do if you've got pain, pelvic pain, from doing too many Kegels. The first thing to do is to lie down. As soon as you lie down, you take the pressure off your pelvic floor. So I'll do some demonstration here. So if you're going to be lying down, nice to get one or two pillows underneath your knees and lie yourself back down comfortably. So that would be your comfortable resting position. And I can feel like I could even do with another pillow underneath my legs. Allow your legs to rotate outwards and just in that comfortable position. Then you can do some relaxed deep breathing exercises. And if you check out the video above, I talk about how to relax, do the relaxed deep breathing exercises for pelvic floor relaxation. Now the second thing that can be really effective is to use a warm pack. Now I've got a large, it's an older warm pack here, but I'm just using this for the purpose of the demonstration. You might like to find a light warm pack. You could place it over your lower abdomen. You could also place it over your pelvic floor. And you can lay that there for as long as it feels comfortable for you, up to 20 minutes at a time, just using the warmth, lying down, and your relaxed, deep breathing exercises. The other thing you can also do is take some pain relief. You might have some pain relief from your doctor, such as a muscle relaxant, if that's the case, if you've actually overtensed your muscles, or you might be able to take something like Tylenol or Paracetamol that you can get over the counter. So there's some ways for your emergency pain management just to relax the pelvic floor muscles and get rid of pain immediately. Now, let's talk more about how to resume your Kegel exercises. Okay, so how do you get back on track with your Kegels once you've rested? Obviously, you rest until the pain has settled down, the discomfort has settled. There's no point in starting your exercises while you still have any discomfort or your symptoms. Now, again, Start your exercises lying down. So let's go through the way to start your Kegels. And I just might mention too, one of the best things you can do is see a pelvic floor physiotherapist to give you advice on your issue because there can be different types of reasons for overdoing your Kegels and different problems that can result. So it's really good to know what you're dealing with and get a pelvic floor physiotherapist to help you along with your progress. So if you're going to restart your Kegel exercises, start them lying down. Again, you're not having to exercise against gravity. So in the position we just talked about, you might have a pillow underneath your knees 
or you might just have your legs in that position. So that when you restart, and if you're not sure how to do your Kegel exercises, my video above shows you the correct technique. I'm not going to go through all that today, but if you refer to that in the link below, you can also learn how to redo your Kegel exercises correctly. So in your relaxed position, you start with one to two pelvic floor contractions and you do them really gently. So what you do is you contract the pelvic floor gently and then you relax it down and then you take the time to rest. And I'm going to emphasize relaxing the muscles completely. So really let them go down. Do your deep breathing exercises between, the, between each exercise so that you're really relaxing your pelvic floor. Rest for 30 seconds to a minute between each exercise before you're doing your next lift and lower and relax. And we're not going for long holds. We're just going for short, brief contractions. So that's the position that you would start those in. So you can do those once a day, so start them once a day. And the next day, just monitor your symptoms, see what's happening, see whether it's exacerbated any problems or see whether everything's settling down. If it has, if everything is settling down, then the next day, so you might leave a day of rest, the next day, do another couple of exercises and monitor. If everything's okay, then you can start to increase the number of repetitions you're doing every day until you can get to 8 to 10 exercises in a row. Now, once you can get to the 8 to 10 in a row, then you have a break and then you can start to increase your set. So you might do 8 to 10 of exercises in the morning and you might do then another 8 to 10 exercises later in the day. Now, once you can get to your three lots of exercises during the day, so that's about 30 exercises a day, 10, 10, and 10, then you start with your strength, strength contractions. So you don't add strength, strong contractions, until you know you can lift and lower and relax completely and that you're doing those pain-free. So we've talked about quite a bit there, haven't we? We've talked about the problems with um, overdoing your Kegels, doing too many Kegels or holding them on constantly. And then we've talked about some of the symptoms you can feel. And then finally, we've talked about your emergency management and then how to resume your Kegel exercises. So I really hope this information helps you understand how to cope with overdoing your Kegels. If, it's, if you found it helpful, it really helps other women find the video if you can like the video below. So I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And I really welcome your comments. I'd love to hear your questions about this issue. So please feel welcome to leave those questions in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.